gosh, look at all of them. There's even a lemur wolf. <laughs> I love it. That fits in perfectly with our laboratory, after all. But hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Safari Gallery Adventures. And it has been quite a while since we have been able to do this. And that is actually because for a while there, when pets first came out, the gallery was broken. And if you all uploaded your amazing creations, then I wasn't able to find anything um, because the hashtags didn't work. Fun fact, the hashtags are now fixed. And with the many, many amazing pieces of custom content that Caltron is constantly pumping out in order to expand the variety and the diversity of animal life that I can force into my Sims 4 game, then I figure it's time, my friends. It is time to return to our gallery safaris and gather up the wildlife that you guys have created and uploaded and see what we can do with them in our Sims 4 adventures. So I'm really excited about this because I realized I could probably start sending you guys on very specific creative pet expeditions. But I'll talk more about that at the end. For now, I kind of want to take a moment just to like coo over all of the lemurs here. I know we have done lemurs before. In fact, we actually have the Caltron's beautiful ringtail lemur located right over here. I'm pretty sure this is the one that she had as a base and it is using her her lemur's itty bitty little hands. Again, this is a cat base, but thanks to Caltron's mod and you can find the link to those in the video description. Uh, it's fingers. There's fingers that you can stick on your cat and all of a sudden you no longer have a cat. You have a lemur and I absolutely love that. Being the pixel biologist, you can rest assured that anywhere there are pixelated or real life animals that I can pursue, I will be chasing after them and shoving them into my game so that I can hug them and cuddle them and play with their little lemur tail. Look at that. And actually lemurs are one of my absolute favorite animals on the entire face of the planet. They are a fascinating species of mammal that I adore. I have learned a lot about lemurs because I actually went to the Duke Lemur Research Center. And if you guys haven't seen that video, please do. They are one of the most amazing groups out there for trying to work outside of Madagascar to research and conserve the dwindling species of lemurs. So we will um, we'll talk more about the facts of the animals in a little bit. But right now, I kind of want to download a whole bunch of lemurs off the gallery, look all of them over, coo after each of them, and then try breeding them up with random cats just because that sounds like something amazing to do with my afternoon, doesn't it? And um, let's just say there's a secret reason that you guys are going to be seeing very, very soon about why I need a lemur. And you guys will see that soon. There's other animals that we'll be investigating and there's so many new creations that I am so in love with on the gallery lately. We'll talk about all of that later. For now, let's snag, download, and play with as many lemurs as we can possibly fit in. And by the way, thank you guys so much because so many of these. Talia R26. Over here, we've got Daniela. Hey, my name is 12. Honey 99. Thank you guys so much. Sploomy. Hey, Sploomy, I know you, my friend. Thank you so much for uploading the lemurs. Oh, and over here, Ali Rex. <laughs> For me, thank you so much for doing that for me. You can see my name, Siri Sims, is in here. Not to be confused with my origin name, Blissy underscore leaves. Sorry about the difference, guys. Trust me, I've been a simmer longer than I've been a YouTuber, so that's why the names are different. But thank you guys so much for uploading them. Uh, and thankfully, now that the gallery is fixed, if you want, you can go back. You don't have to put my actual name in the title anymore. I'm so sorry that that was the only way I could find it for a while. You can go back and you can do the hashtag and we will be doing the community gallery tours in the future um because wow you guys have made some amazing creations and i very much want to play with them for now though we are going to be playing with lemurs because i love lemurs does this bring up more lemurs no no i don't think it does i think well actually that's a that's a different kind of lemur right there i think the majority of the lemurs we can find are going to be found under the item name lemur and again i apologize if i snag a lemur and like credit somebody who wasn't the original creator. Thankfully, there's not many lemurs on the gallery right now. 
I hope to change that by the end of the day. But um, yeah, if I do credit somebody and they were not the original creator, please let me know in the comments so that the original creator can receive all of the praise that they deserve. It's hard to tell with The Sims 4 Gallery who first made a thing sometimes because people can re-upload it. So just be aware of that when you too are setting out on your safari so that you too can add in these adorable creatures to your game. But let's get on with it then. Let's see. Let's go through with the people who like made ah Sploomy, there's your lemur again. Still so in love. Still so in love. It's so cute. I adore him. Oh my gosh. So cute. Let's go ahead. We're gonna merge him into the household. No, you're broken, my little friend. Don't worry, I'll fix you. <laughs> I hate it when that happens, but we can fix that. Uh in fact, this is actually very good training, you know, to let you guys who who are having this issue. Let's see, so he's already inside. Oh, that's why. But if you two have this issue and you're like, oh no, the lemur, it is not working. Don't panic. You just remove the creature, the animal from your area and you want to re-download it fresh. So lemur, search, come on, search for lemur. I want to have lemur babies already, hurry. There we go. All right. And then you can try again, save to my gallery. Because I definitely want to keep uh, keep Sploomies. No, 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 don't don't replace, don't replace. We want multiple lemurs. You need more than one lemur in order to have lemur babies. So look at this, Sploomy, it's your lemur again. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, and then let's see, who else do we have here? I love the lemur wolf. We're going to check out the lemur wolf for sure. And we also have right over here, Ally Rex 46. Thank you so much. So cute. I love it. I love how you guys have come up with so many different lemurs. Let's merge this one in too. I don't think I can merge as many as I want. Oh, I love how the patterns are so different as well. It really gives each one their own personality. And it'll be really fun when we start like breeding them <laughs> to see what their babies are going to look like. Uh, but guys, I, I did want to definitely do a big, a big like, this is awesome for the person who made the brown lemur. Thank you so much to Leah R26 for the brown lemur because that is a great example of the fact that there are more than just ringtail lemurs out in the world. There are actually 99 currently still clinging to survival species of lemur in the world. Uh, almost all of them ex with a couple exceptions from Madagascar. And I am very excited to see that somebody made a brown lemur. And I'm actually going to talk more about different types of lemurs. Thank you so much uh, later. But let's get the babies in first because I really want to I really want to start pulling everybody in. So thank you, Talia. Thank you. Okay, so, oh my gosh, they're so cute. <laughs> I love seeing the differences and how everybody made these different lemurs. It is just so awesome. Let's see. Oh, and then honey, thank you. Oh, here we go. Thank you. Oh, this is so fun. We're going on a safari, guys. All right, let's see. Merge. And then I think we can fit in one more before. Oh, look at that. I love how they all look so different. Oh, let's see. I think I can fit in one more before I'm just too... Leo, did we, did we get this? Did we get this lemur? I'm pretty sure we got this lemur. No, because I didn't... Thank you! There we go. Wait, I don't think I can do hearts in the gallery comments. There we go. All right, and then let's merge this. And Fistic, we have lemurs! I need a lot to choose from for my special project I'm going to be working on later. But I love lemurs, and as you can see, so many of these lemurs are what you would consider ringtail lemurs. Like I just said, there's actually 99 varieties, uh, roughly, uh, of lemur out there in the world, and they're all extremely fascinating, and unfortunately, almost all of them are endangered. And I would really love to see more lemurs out there in the gallery that we can bring into our Sims' lives. And you may be asking yourselves, Siri, why are you so adamant? Why, why indeed are you so adamant about adding in lemurs to The Sims? And it's mostly just because they're fascinating, they're fun. The Sims is a fun uh, little escape from reality and a fun way that especially with the jungle adventures being added in, we can experiment and possibly even educate since I am indeed a teacher. I love how this guy has big fingers. That is so cute. <laughs> 
<laughs> but we could we could teach people more about lemurs because they are endangered. Many, many varieties of them are unfortunately exceptionally endangered right now. And it would be really fantastic just to see them run around. Don't make a lemur a pet in real life. Uh, that's the other thing. I can't have a ringtail lemur as a pet in real life. That is a bad idea. Bad idea. Did you see him roll his eyes? But it's so fun to have them in The Sims 4. It's just truly fun. So thank you to all of you who have made the ringtail lemurs. And thank you very much for making a brown lemur as well. I love how different they all look. It's so cute. And you can really see when you study the differences between each type, a way that you could try to make a really wild looking animal in your Sims 4 world as well. And so I'm really hoping guys um, that I could send you guys on an expedition and create a pet for me to possibly create more varieties and more types of lemurs. Particularly if you uh, are of the mind to do this for me. I would love to see the white and black ruffed lemur, who is a gorgeous creature. Oh my gosh, it is truly beautiful. They were one of my favorite lemurs to see in person. And well, you know, the mouse lemur, I have to say the mouse lemur was probably my absolute favorite, but that is like, there's a reason it's called a mouse lemur. It is a very small lemur. That I think would be almost nigh impossible to create in The Sims 4. But the black and white ruffed lemur is also a really fascinating species. And since we are going to be cough cough relaunching that wild rescue series in The Sims 4, I figure why not go ahead and try to bring in as much diversity of wildlife as we can so I can try to teach you something about them while we adventure and play because they're out there right now guys in this world sharing it with us and struggling to survive so it's just good to keep that in the back of your mind so if one day one day you have the opportunity to lend a helping paw to a lemur you'll know a little bit more about them and I hope you'll go through and do that so moving on from that very dramatic moment. Thank you so much to everybody who has made the lemurs. And now the true moment of fun and excitement begins because we are going to see what their babies would look like. I'm so excited. We're gonna breed them up. We're gonna see what will happen. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I was not ready for that. I was not ready for that. I'm sorry. We just started, but I wasn't ready. <laughs> look at this face. <laughs> Oh no! I love you! You are amazing! I love you! Come join my family! You're literally just like a crossbred lemur cat, and I, this is the lemur of my own heart, okay? I have, this is, this is the one. I think this is going to be the one for my secret super project that you guys are going to be seeing. But I, I love him. I love him so much. Uh, I'm going to make him a her for the purposes of what I have in mind. But yeah, there we go. Uh, a lemur cat looks like this. And I mean, come on, guys. Isn't that so cool? Wouldn't you love just to have your cat or dog in The Sims 4 wandering around? Around, minding their own business and then you turn around and they have a bunch of lemur cat kittens that would be so cool all right so you are a very special one stay over to the side here my friend and um, you guys might be seeing this one again very shortly here but let's go ahead come on mix the genetics let's see what it would look like let's do this all right let's see let's grab a random lemur and then if we mixed it with another lemur if we mixed it with the brown lemur <laughs> I love this and this is why it's just so much fun this is why it's just so much fun to just like dive in and mess with these pet genetics come on add in these wild animals and you never know what kind of looks you're going to get oh my gosh <laughs> these poor things don't know what they want to be like sometimes they have a huge head sometimes they have a small head sometimes they have a huge tail sometimes they have a small tail this is so what the heck this isn't even the right color <laughs> this is like an albino lemur <laughs> Oh, I love this. I love this so much. Okay, let's try again with a new lemur. Hello, my friend. Hello. Okay, now you're a kitty cat. That one is definitely getting some of the recessive genes going. You could end up with so many very unique looking cats wandering your neighborhood. Thanks to uh, the, the infusion of these lemur genetics. <laughs> and, uh, you know, just kind of um, 
kind of taking your, your hands off the wheel when it comes to all of the genetic mutations that you might see. Oh my gosh. All right, what about this boomer lemur? With the big fingers, yeah, with the big fingers. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's like a, a lion. Look at that. Woo, a mountain lion. Beautiful face. Gorgeous cats. I cannot believe how beautiful these turn out. So yeah, you. I don't think you'd be disappointed with lemurs. Even if you just wanted one lemur, there's a good chance that it's actually going to give you normal looking cats. Oh, I love this. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. And the boomer lemur. I really like the boomer lemur's colors too. Here, let's actually see. Uh, boomer lemur? What would happen if we just had an, an unknown random cat parent? Uh, yeah, just an unknown random cat parent and Boomer met and they would have children that looked like, oh my gosh. Come on, guys! Join me! Join me for these wild, random, hilarious pet genetics experiments. <laughs> and just to have a great time. Oh my gosh. I think it's awesome. You're going to discover something absolutely, I mean, look at those eyes, absolutely amazing if you just dive in and have some fun with these genes. What is even happening here? This is the fluffiest cat. Boomer, you have had a fluffy child. Oh my gosh. And the eyes on this lemur. We have like an alien lemur here. This is going to make my game so much more exciting to wander around. It was already exciting with just cats and dogs, but to like have them wander around and be cats, dogs, and lemurs. This is just so fun. I love this. I love this so much. Oh my gosh. And the genetics. Oh, that reminds me. The lemur dog. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Here, we're going to gently. I'm sorry. Hey, I got to make a little bit of room. A little bit of room. Pardon me. Pardon me, everybody. Let's go ahead. The last thing we're going to do is just have some fun looking for the lemur dog. So let's pull up the lemur wolf. And that's already kind of a mixed breed right there. There we go, let's merge. And what would happen if we took the lemur wolf, which is actually really, really cool, and we made a crossbreed. Let's go ahead and see. And I'm really glad I have that one lemur. That's gonna be really good for me, for a, a secret project I'm working on. All right, lemur wolf, show me your worst. Your children are adorable. Still adorable, still adorable, look nothing like you. Where's one that actually looks like a lemur? Let's see. All right, keep going, keep going, keep going. Man, these unknown, oh, oh no, there's one. There's one, go back, go back, go back. Ah, oh, it's so cute. <laughs> oh, that would be so fun. My world is basically just going to have a mad scientist sim who has released all of these various random mutations of animals unto the world and just let them go on these big adventures because this is just this is just too precious i absolutely love this i love this it's just fun it's fun and funny and i'm really looking forward to teaching you guys more about animals while we relaunch our wildlife rescue and uh start doing something pretty darn special with them so i'm looking forward to sharing that with you guys very very soon here for now thank you to everybody who has created ringtail lemurs and a brown lemur for us all to enjoy i very much love that species and would love to see more species of lemur so if you are interested in creating a white rift lemur then if you could maybe you know just add to the lemur the lemur name the lemur hashtag whatever it is i would love to run into it in the future because i have some very special plans in mind when it comes to adding in wild animals to the sims 4 and seeing your guys creations could only make it even more fantastic so thank you so much for joining me guys and i will see you all next time Bye bye